Hello, students. Um, today is June, Wednesday, June 17th, 2020. And today I'm going to be going over some of the test questions that I, I uploaded for you guys. I'm not going to give you the answers, of course. I'm just going to give you some instruction and some, maybe some hints and clues. So for let's start off. For number question, uh, question number 24, it says the photographer, the photograph, but the photograph below shows a large, deep channel that formed as a result of running water that removed the soil. The photograph, I'm sorry, what did I, I was reading it, sorry, I pronounced it wrong. The photograph, this is photograph, that word is photograph. Which process was responsible for the removal of the soil? So here you have deposition, erosion, faulting, and tilting. Okay, so it a key word in this sentence is uh, water. Water. Water, it looks like water passed through this. So if this says that water passed through it, then that kind of shows you, even though this looks like something else happened, the key word is water. So I wanted you now to use the word water to figure out which process might have occurred that led to this transformation of this rock or soil. Okay, let's jump into the next question. Oh no, that's that's 25. So 25, it says the photograph below shows a test for a mineral property. So you have two minerals. This one kind of looks like granite or uh, obsidian. It looks one of like one of those minerals. This one looks like a different mineral. So which mineral property is being tested? This is a porcelain plate. This is the only clue you get. So the only clue you get really is this porcelain plate and these rocks. But you also get a, uh, oh, I can't give it away. When you, well, this is a mineral test, you have to, okay. You, I, I would, if I was you, I would search, if, you, if you're not really sure, I would search these words in Google and then that'll give you the answer right away for this. This is one mineral test using a porcelain plate and that's all you have to put, and it'll give you the answer right away. Okay, so let's go to move this. Question 28. Which diagram represents folded rock layers? Folded. What does it mean to be folded? I'll show you a picture of a folded rock layer. If you want to know, how do folded rock layers look? There you go. There you go. So next, you should that should be easy. Um, Last one. The, well, last several ones. We got three more. Base your answer, but they're all related. Base your answers to questions 76 and 77 on the diagram below and on your knowledge of science. The diagram represents a cross section of exposed rock layers, A through F, that contain fossils. The rock layers have not been overturned. So they have not been overturned. They have not been folded. They do not, these rock layers, we know they didn't look like this. The plates have not pushed them together. So they look like this in a perfect layer in which um, I can't tell you too much because I might give it away. Identify the letter of the layer that contains the oldest fossil. Explain why you selected that layer. Okay. Um, so you, that's 76. Where's 77? So this is 76. So you have to explain which layer is um, the oldest basically for 76. So for 77, Explain why the study of fossils is important to scientists. Why is the study of fossils? Why do we need why do we need to learn about fossils? What can they tell us? Okay, and last one. Describe the best method for separating small pieces of iron from a mixture of sand and iron when the particles of sand and iron are identical sizes. So if we have if you have sand, let's say if you have sand and diamond, well you want to Perhaps you wouldn't find diamonds so small as sand. But let's say you have sand and gold. Gold, definitely you could find as small as sand. What if you have gold and sand and you want to separate gold and sand? What would you do? If you're a paleontologist, if you're a person, a scientist that studies fossils, and you happen to come across gold, and you happen to come across a lot of sand or dirt or rocks, what kind of process would you use to separate it? Okay, so that's my conclusion for today. This was um, all the questions I gave you guys.